You ever see a game for the first time and instantly get the feeling that you need to play it right now? Well, that's exactly what happened to me the first time I saw my friend Pedro during Devolver Digital's E3 2018 conference. And if you know anything about Devolver Digital, it's that they publish a lot of weird ass indie games with really unique mechanics. My friend Pedro is clearly no exception to that. As the trailer showed a man gracefully flip through the air like a ballerina as he killed everyone around him in an absolute chaotic mess of death and destruction. But is this chaos as fun to play as it is to watch? Well, my name is Sebastian and uh, spoilers for the rest of the video, but fuck yeah, it is every bit as fun to play as it is to watch, and the gameplay continues to get better and better with every level. You play as some random guy in a mask, who ends up alone in a basement with no memory of who he is or how he ended up there. All you know is that you have a strange magic banana friend named Pedro, who warps in and out of reality to talk to you. You realize you're in the basement of a big time mob boss, and as you escape, you quickly find out that someone's put a bounty on you. Now, it's up to you and your friend Pedro to find out who set the bounty and kill everyone that gets in your way, in the most elegant way possible. Now, aside from the weird magic banana, the game's plot is pretty standard, and not really anything too special. The game can be very self-aware in its writing, and most of it's being jokes about video games or how ridiculous the game itself is. It doesn't take itself too seriously, which is good, because the story itself isn't the reason you'd play My Friend Pedro. It gets you from point A to point B, and gives you enough context to what you're doing, but the real reason you'd play a game like My Friend Pedro is its insane gameplay. On the surface, the game is a side-scrolling shooter with a bullet time mechanic. You can jump off walls, split your aim, kick enemies or objects, and you can slow down time at any time. When you're in bullet time, your character gets a lot more, I guess, flippy while you're in the air, making it way more fun and elegant as you're jumping off walls, diving off ledges, swinging from ropes, or going down zip lines. You also have a dodge mechanic, where you spin like a majestic ballerina. However, you can't aim while you're dodging, so you just kinda shoot randomly. These are the game's basic mechanics that you'll be using from start to finish. However, it seems like my friend Pedro never runs out of new ideas to introduce to the player. Each chapter introduces new kinds of guns, new enemies, and new environmental interactions. The game introduces so many new mechanics the further you get, and each one makes the game better. From skateboards to frying pans, bounce pads to propellers, lasers, enemies with shields, stealth segments, the game has so many mechanics the player can use to their advantage, which is pretty cool, because if you end up wanting to replay a level, you have the option to do it a different way than you did it the first time. The game has so much diversity, not only chapter to chapter, but even level to level. Presentation-wise, the game's level designs aren't really the strongest in terms of looking aesthetically interesting or memorable. Aside from the super cool acid trippy level, most of the levels look really similar to each other, being based off of basements, sewers, or random ass scaffolding. But although the visual design of the levels isn't super interesting, the gameplay design of them is a lot of fun. Platforms shifting around making for fun platforming or uses for cover, there's a ton of ledges to dive off of, surfaces to ricochet bullets off from, elevators that leave you surrounded by enemies, and enough obstacles in the way to make traversing the levels more engaging than just walking a straight line. Something I wasn't expecting from this game after seeing it for the first time were boss fights. At the end of every chapter, you get an insane action movie style boss fight. They're fast paced and the gameplay is always different from what you're doing in the normal levels, adding a nice uniqueness and variation to boss fights. My friend Pedro is fairly short, it can be beaten in about 4 to 5 hours, but that's not the point. This is one of those games that you can quickly jump in and out of. It has super replayable levels that are fun to just dive back into and try to beat your score from last time, or try to get through the level looking as stylish as you can. I wouldn't say the game is hard, it's not one of those indie games that kills you in one hit and then instantly respawns you to try again, but I would say the game has a bit of a learning curve to it. As I mentioned, the game isn't shy about introducing new mechanics to you. My first time playing, I felt a little overwhelmed at the amount of stuff I could do, and at times, I'd often forget to use bullet time, split my aim, or even dodge for the first few levels. Splitting my aim is actually something that took me a little bit of time to get used to, but once it clicked, it's super satisfying being able to use all of these tools to your advantage. Overall, this game is a lot of fun. Having finished it, I can definitely see myself jumping back in every now and then, and messing around for a couple minutes to try to improve my score. I really hope they add a DLC chapter or two in the future. This is definitely one of those games that you'd solely play for a fun gameplay experience, which I, to a certain degree, 
believe that gameplay should always be the most important aspect of a game. The story won't wow you, but you might find some humor in its writing and the ridiculousness of Pedro himself. I highly recommend this indie gem to all you Switch or PC players. Have you ever played My Friend Pedro, or are you kind of on the fence about checking it out? I liked it a lot, but I'm really curious about what you all thought about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd show me your support by giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and leaving me any feedback you might have. Subscribe if you aren't already, there's plenty of other videos just like this one that you might like. I hope all of you have a great rest of your day and or night, depending on when you're watching this video. And with all that said, that's it for me for now, and I'll talk to you all next time.